Hello. Uh, thank you for this opportunity to present our study. Okay, so uh, the title of the study is a structural early intervention program in patients with predicted poor long-term outcome following bariatric surgery, and it's a prospective randomized study. Uh, these are our disclosures. None of these are pertinent for the current study. A few words about the background. It has been shown that early postoperative weight loss can be predictive of one-year outcomes, but it is unclear if uh, poor performance identified in the first postoperative month can have improvement of outcomes with additional support and education. The purpose of our study was to evaluate the impact of a structured targeted support program for patients with lower than average early postoperative weight loss in one-year outcomes. It was a prospective randomized study of bariatric surgery patients who experienced less than 50th percentile uh, excess weight loss at three weeks. Uh, the patients were randomized into two groups, intervention and control, and the intervention arm was offered a program with uh, seven weekly behavioral support sessions, while the control received routine postoperative care. Uh, our patients were followed for three, uh, six months, and one year postoperatively, and the following metrics were utilized to assess the weight loss, the excess weight loss, the excess BMI loss, and the total weight loss, with the following formulas defining the, its parameter. So we uh, had in total 128 patients that were randomized in uh, uh, the two groups, 65 in the intervention, 63 in the control. In the intervention group, 20 patients attended all sessions, seven attended less than four, and 36 did not participate. There was no, there was no significant difference in baseline demographics, procedure type, or BMI between the groups, and at one year, there was no difference in excess weight loss, excess BMI loss, and total weight loss between the groups. A subgroup analysis, including only the subjects who participated in all seven sessions, showed similar results. Uh, this table shows the weight loss ratios between intervention and control groups for all patients. We can see that uh, for all different metrics at all time points, there is no statistically significant difference. Similarly, uh, weight loss ratios uh, between intervention and control for only the subjects who participated in all behavioral sessions had no significant difference at all time points. The limitations for study was the small sample size, the high attrition rate, but we conclude that patients who present with suboptimal weight loss early after bariatric surgery do not experience a significant weight loss improvement with a structured behavioral support program. And importantly, despite being alerted to their poor early weight loss, patients demonstrated poor adherence to the proposed interventions. Thank you. <laughs>